In this print here, Mr. Atkins stated his political advertisement approved by him that a plan that he proposed in 2009, then known as the CPR Comprehensive Plan for Recovery. Mr. Atkins further states that the commission adopted, the adopted it as the Industrial Economic Incentive Fund. And Mr. Atkins' advertisement, he also mentions that we, uh, I would understand to mean you all commissioners, successfully lobbied eight companies to move to our handout county. Hernando County Business News dated March 2003 welcomes AccuForm sign. Number two there, it shows St. Pete Times article dated February 15, 2004, and mentions Zerotech Precast Technologies, 84 Lumber, and Top Line Automotive Engineering have committed leases in the industrial park. Mr. Gutierrez, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Are this you... is an open forum, and it is my constitutional right to speak. But you are running... I am Mr. running, but this is this is a fact. Something that Mr. A Mr. Atkins is advertising and responding on this campaign. This is not a place to do your campaign. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. very sorry. I'm not campaigning, and I don't believe that you have the authority Mr. to Mr. inhibit Mr. my mannerism and speech. I think just let it go. It's yeah. Good. Okay, Mr. Okay. Atkins. No, Mr. Sorry. Atkins. Go ahead. Okay. We'll let now, Mr. Atkins answer you. Okay. Well, gentlemen, you've been out of it. Okay. This from Maddox Business Report, stated October 2005. Mentioned that a unit was moved to a 200,000 square foot facility in the corporate park. In the other article, in Hernando today, dated February 11, 2009, mentions that Mr. Atkins enlisted the aid of Blazing Goldly to craft a three prong plan. Ironically, it's also called a comprehensive plan for recovery, also known as the Atkins and Goldly plan. But this stimulus plan is for the purchase of foreclosed properties. Which plan is for what and who is the real innovator? There are two more companies that time precludes me from mentioning. These companies were here in Hernando prior to Mr. Atkins' proposal and proposition as a commissioner. Now, I'm appalled in the strength of the fact that an elected official would tell these things to people or lie uh, for his own political selfish gain by taking credit for initiatives and accomplishments which he was not instrumental in obtaining. Hopefully this was not a conspiracy to deceive the residents of Hernando County for sexual, certain special interest groups or for the purpose of maintaining political control. Since Mr. Atkins is so intuitive, perceptive, and insightful, we can save taxpayer money by eliminating full commissioner seats and also Thank by eliminating the you. accused position. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, but I think that was totally out of place. Commissioner Grossman. I don't have a problem with it. A little bit of campaigning, not a problem. Well, it, this is not, I agree, it's not the time or the place, but uh, it's history now.